Happening this weekend, there's a big push to remove the hidden dangers inside your medicine cabinet. Saturday is National Drug Take Back Day. Channel 3's Tim Pham says several agencies are joining together to help combat the opioid crisis and protect the environment. Getting rid of your prescription medicine isn't as simple as throwing it in the trash or flushing it down the toilet because when you do that, it could end up here. It's a hidden danger probably in your medicine cabinet right now. Unused prescriptions that too often end up in the wrong hands or in the wrong place. People have always in the past have, have flushed it down the toilet and it's gone into our sewer system and then back into the streams. Kitty Vaughn oversees water quality and environmental compliance for Tennessee American Water. The company serves about a half million people in Tennessee. She says unused, unwanted, or outdated medication should never be dumped into a water source. It pollutes streams and hurts the environment. So far, contamination is low, about one part per trillion, or about one drop in an entire Olympic-sized pool. It sounds small, but the ripple effect could have have greater consequences. But if we continue down the path of putting pharmaceuticals into our water, it'll just continue to get worse. So we need to be conscious of what we're doing and not polluting our streams. Crews work 24 hours, 365 days a year cleaning and testing, and everyone can help do their part by keeping medicine out of the water. And the more contamination you have, it becomes more difficult to clean the water up for any system, um, no matter what the contamination is. It, it becomes more stringent and more expensive to clean the water up. When you take prescriptions to a take back day, law enforcement agencies take it to a secure location where it's incinerated. Our biggest concern is our customers and their safety and their health. And we hope that they will help us in that and, and be conscientious of the environment. If you can't make it to drug take back this year, I've posted inside the WRCB app locations where you can drop off year round. Reporting in Chattanooga, I'm Tim Pham, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. They'll also have document shredders at some of the drug take back locations across the Tennessee Valley. We'll find out which ones and look up locations near you, as Tim said, in the WRCB app.